Hi guys, welcome to Smartphone Filmmaker. I am Rob and today we're talking about how to do an automatic focus pull with Filmic Pro. Now why is it important to do this? Within storytelling you can reveal plot points, parts about characters, objects that are important to the story whether it's a gun or a book, maybe you're following someone across the scene and then you're putting the focus back to something close to the camera. They're all really important ways of storytelling and it all comes back to automatic focus pull. Now just to let you know I have dropped my phone uh, a couple of months ago which is why you might see a couple of shakes from time to time when I'm pulling the focus. It's just because the screen isn't as sensitive as it used to be so uh, I have to give it a bit more of a push to make it work now. So I hope you enjoy this, hope you find it useful. Thank you very much, enjoy. Okay, so here we are looking at automatic focus pull and basically what we're doing is we're picking a point A and a point B to change our focus from and to. And if you want to, we can do that in the reverse as well. So in this example, we're going to be showing the flowers here. So that's our point A. And then point B is going to be the evil teddy in the background who's come to spoil the day. Murderous teddy bear. So flowers to the bear. Now, as you can see, as I'm showing you different focus on the right hand side, the focus pull has one white line that stays in exactly the same place, no matter what you do with the focus pull dial here. And that's because that is the focus line. So wherever you're pulling the focus to and from, that's telling you where the focus is in the dial. So to set the points, you need to bring the dial down. So I think of it as I'm bringing the dial down, which means it's bringing it towards me. So I'm bringing it to shadow depth focusing something closer to me and if I'm going something further away as the dial goes up that's me sort of imagining it's going to a further away uh, focus point which it is. So as we bring the focus down to where we want it on the flower so that's about the focus we want. Now what we can do is we're going to tap that middle white line and what that does that brings our fo first focus point in position. So that's focus point say you have seen the white line drop down to the center to meet it in the middle. So that's our first focus point set, which is the flowers. So to do the second focus point, we do the reverse. So we bring the dial away from us. So let's see if we can get that right. So what about there? And again, you're gonna tap the middle white line and you'll see the top white line meets the one in the middle. So there, we've got the focus points meeting the center. Now to go from point to point, what you want to do is you want to tap not the central white line, but the one above or below. In this case, we've got the one above. So if we tap that, that's bringing focus to the flowers at point A. And if we want to do a reverse of that for our shot, you tap the one that's uh, nearest to you. So that'll be point going to point B. And you can practice this back and forth, making sure you get it nice and smooth. So that's point A point B. So that's how you do an automatic focus pull. Now how do you change the speed of that automatic focus pull? On the right hand side you'll see that we have focus which I just put away. Bring that back up. Focus. So on the right hand side you've got focus. If you hold your finger on focus, drag it to the left, you'll see this white dial has now appeared on the right hand side. That is your speed dial for your focus pulls. So if you look at the top of the screen, as I'm pulling this white dial, I hold my finger on the dial, going up and down, you'll see at the top of the screen it says focus pull speed. Now if you go in up to 10, that's a fast focus pull speed, so that's basically an instant focus pull. So if we go with a 10, I'll show you how fast that is. Instant, back and forth, back and forth, instant. And if we bring it to five, which is, tends to be the one that I'll go for, because it's you know a happy medium, and you can, depending on how you want to reveal things, you can make this faster and slower. So five will give you a focus pull like this. Do that again, focusing on the flowers, focusing on the teddy bear, focusing back on the flowers. And then obviously if you want to go to one, that's going to give you a nice slow reveal. So even the slowest isn't that slow. It's a nice way to reveal objects and storylines and moments in stories. And you can even see like the veins and the flowers there. This is why uh, Filmic Pro is so good because it gives you 
a little bit of everything there. All the detail and focus. So bring that back to the flowers for your point A for focus. And then just to get rid of that speed dial for the focus, how fast you want it done, you just tap, you hold focus, and you just slide it away to the side again. And you can do that with zoom as well. So if you hold zoom, you can bring that out, tap zoom, and you can do exactly the same thing. And you can do it with the focus. Zoom, you don't want to do too much of that really with phones because you end up getting really pixelated, noisy footage if you zoom in too much. So I just generally don't zoom in. I'll film in 4K, and then if I want to, I can zoom in with editing or crop it, which gives you a much clearer picture. So that is how you do an automatic focus pull. So you've got your point A, point B, shallow depth, deep depth, and flicking between those, picking your focus point, setting them by tapping the middle lines, and then you can press either or to go back and forth. And that is how you do a focus pull. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed that and you're gonna be able to use it in your films that you're making from now on. And if you didn't know how to do it quite in such detail, you do now. I just wanted to make a video that kind of encapsulates every part of doing the focus pull so that we all had that in one place to watch. Now I do have other videos as well, so if you want to check them out, please do give them a like. Subscribe to the channel if you've enjoyed these as well. I've got uh, two short films, one called Blue, which is my first one minute short film. I've got a second short film called Survival Cost, which is my most recent. I've got a video on how to make a smartphone film alone. I've got a video on how to, or what I learned from making my first smartphone film. So do check them out if you find this interesting and subscribe if it's something you want to hear more about. Thank you.